Today we're making some flourless zucchini brownies and they are just full of chocolatey flavor. You're gonna love it. I'm adding a little bit of peanut butter and we're sweetening this up with some honey as opposed to just regular white sugar. Like I said, these are full of flavor. They satisfy that chocolate craving and you're gonna love them. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. Did you hear about the magician that had some chocolate in his shirt? He had some Twix up his sleeve. We're gonna start off here with our green friend, the zucchini. I'm using organic and you wanna grate it on the fine grate side. Now, some of you might be thinking, zucchini in a brownie, really? But trust me, it's like the silent hero of a movie. You don't see it coming, but it steals the show. The trick is to grate it finely, okay? So we wanna keep it nice and small. We can sneak this past a toddler. They won't even know it's there. Because zucchinis have a lot of water in them, we're gonna wanna squeeze it out, okay? So you're gonna wanna place your zucchini onto some paper towels or a clean towel, and then just smash it, squeeze it, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. Once you think you've got most of the water squeezed out, then go ahead and place your zucchini into a bowl and we'll set it aside. Now we'll move on to our next preparation. Next, we wanna prepare our baking dish. I'm using a nine by nine dish here and I'm coating it with some olive oil. Now, the only other oil that I'd consider using would be avocado oil. I don't like to use any seed oils in my cooking. Now, in this bowl, we're gonna add one egg and some baking soda. This cocoa powder is going to add some really nice chocolatey flavor along with some great polyphenols. To sweeten up our brownies, I'm using raw honey. Now here's a little trick to get that honey out of the measuring cup because to me it always sticks and it's a pain to get it out. Just rub a light coating of olive oil in the cup and then add the honey and it will pour out like a dream. It literally comes right out of the cup and there's nothing left. And you get a little bit of olive oil in your brownies. That's not a problem. Grab your mixer and blend that up till it's nice and smooth. Next, I'm adding some Laura Scudder's Smooth Peanut Butter. If you want to sub in almond butter, you can. Next goes a little bit of cinnamon and some vanilla extract. Bring that mixer in again and mix that up. You're going to find that it's quite thick, but don't worry. We still have some melted chocolate to add and the zucchini, so that will thin it out to the perfect consistency. Here's the chocolate I'm using, they're chocolate chips. Goutard semi-sweet, and we're going to melt this in the microwave by placing the chocolate into the microwave at 30 seconds on high temperature, and then we'll stir it. And then if you need to melt it some more, put it back in for maybe 20 seconds, and then stir it until you just get it nice and creamy. We're gonna pour that luscious chocolate right into our brownie mix, and then we're gonna combine it with the mixer. It actually helps to put this mixture into a bigger, deeper bowl, just so you don't get a lot of splatter because it is very thick, as you can see here. Now it's time to add the zucchini and the brownie mixture together. And once we mix this up, the zucchini is gonna disappear. Now watch the magic. Now, did you say there's zucchini in this? Where'd it go? Now notice the perfect consistency. There's still enough moisture left in the zucchini to help make the mixture just right. I like to add a little crunch to this, so I'm adding some pecans, but you feel free to add walnuts if you want, or you can leave them both out. Toss those pecans in and give them a good little stir to mix them in. Now let's put these bad boys into our prepared baking dish. All right, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna just pour it right in and spread it out so it's nice and even. A spatula works great for this. All right, these are going in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the M&M go to college? Because he wanted to be a smarty. Here's our brownies almost done. And now we're gonna take that toothpick and give it a, the test. It came out clean for me, so these are coming out to cool. You should let these brownies cool for at least 10 minutes before you cut them. Now these brownies are gonna be so good that they'll make you wanna write a thank you letter to your oven. 
These brownies will definitely satisfy your chocolate craving. They are chewy, moist, and delicious, and they won't make you feel guilty for indulging. And I'm pretty confident nobody will notice the zucchini. They're just gonna love the flavor. Till next time, keep baking outside the box and smashing those like buttons on my YouTube channel, in your kitchen, and in life. If you love chocolate, you're going to want to try my indoor s'mores recipe. Click the link right there on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed our brownie recipe today. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you try it, what you think about it, okay? We'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.